Hi, my name's Katie and I'm an Ordnance Survey Get Outside champion. Um, I do a lot of off-grid activities and love getting out and about in the wild. Hey, my name's Ailey, I live on the Isle of Iona and I'm a chef and a weaver and I work for Iona Wool, which is a single origin yarn made from the fleeces of the sheep from all the crofts and the farms on the island. My name is Rachel Keenan and I'm an adventure photographer from Glasgow. One of my main clients is Calmac Ferries and when I'm working for Calmac I spend a lot of time as you can imagine outdoors traveling around the west coast so quite often I will be camping on the beach at night to get that sunset shot or I'll be on the back of the Calmac Ferry shooting wildlife so it's a really varied and exciting outdoorsy job. A lot of the islands are visited by a lot of people so if you have a thousand visitors and only one percent leave rubbish that's still a lot of people leaving rubbish so um, it accumulates and we will need to make sure that we leave these places we found them because we've come to these places because they're lovely we've come to these places because they're clean and unspoiled and beautiful and no one wants to see the drinks bottle and the old embers of the fire and stuff like that so it's it's about just making sure that it's as nice as you found it i suppose Living where we do, it's hard not to be conscious of the environment, you know, what you consume and the waste that you generate and, you know, the impact of those things just because, you know, it's immediately apparent and visible. So, you know, part of island life is that these kind of practices are sort of woven into the lifestyle anyway. One big thing is, um is campfires that we have a kind of real problem with and we just need to remember the basics of you know the countryside code of leave no trace because things you know everybody loves a campfire they're amazing they're warm and they're you know they're, they're wonderful but they can also leave these great scars on the landscape and that impacts wildlife that impacts you know the ground it impacts everything so that's one thing that's really common that we tend to have problems with in Scotland but Generally, yeah, if you just keep it simple, remember the basics, the countryside code of, you know, leave no trace. Um, it's, it's a really good one to remember. Um, but yeah, there's a load of great resources online. Uh, again, things like Walk Highlands that can inform you on if you want to learn more about being environmentally conscious. Well, if you have rubbish, anything you take with you, you should take away with you. Um, the same goes with things like waste. And if you need to go to the loo, it's best to either bury it or take it away with you, uh, dog food bags come in very handy. Um, and if you have a fire, make sure that it's not on the ground. Um, there's a lot of rules around fire making because of course there's a problem with wildfires in the summer. So it's best if you don't have a fire, but if you do have a fire, make sure it's off the ground. And you just want to leave the places you found it. Well, you know, one thing that I've been reflecting on uh, since lockdown is that the intimacy that comes from being really connected to your immediate environment um, when when you realize that it's a habitat that you're a participant in you know and it's not the environment isn't this separate separate nebulous thing it's actually you are you are the environment you know your immediate surroundings and your place in it 